Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials in Hand. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to write a program in Python to find cube root of a number. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first of all, in order to write the program, we are going to use VS Code, but you can use any ID of your own personal choice. So let's quickly move to VS Code. So first of all, let's create a new file by clicking onto this icon and let the file name be simply code.py. Now the very first thing that we have to do is we have to have the number. So let's ask the user to enter that number and let the variable name be simply num. So we know in Python we can take input with the help of input function. So let's write the comment. Right. Now let's cast it to our desired data type because we are aware that in Python this input function will give us a string. So in this situation we will cast it to integer type. So let's write int simply. Now let's understand how we are going to proceed with the program. So we can find the cube root of any number by what means. So let's say if you have been given 8 and you are interested in finding out its cube, then what is the mathematical term for it? So let's say if you have 8, then you can find its cube root with the help of 8 to the power 1 by 3, right? So if you have num, then you can find the cube root of num with the help of simple expression which is num to the power 1 by 3. And in Python, we are aware that we can find the power part with the help of double asterisk. So what we, we are going to do is we will simply write num double asterisk 1 by 3. That is we are telling to do num to the power 1 by 3, which is nothing but the cube root. So let's have a variable and let's store this result into it and let the variable name be simply cube root. Right now this will return us the desired result. But let's decorate it further uh, and in order to do that we are going to use the ceiling function. So let me explain you what exactly ceiling function does with the help of some examples. So let's say if you have a number 5.1 then if you do ceiling function of it then you will get 6 and let's say if you have a number 5.6 right and then you do the ceiling then you will get 6 as well. So with the help of ceiling function we can get a natural number which is just next to the number which is there in the floating point. So as you can see that it was 5.1 so we got the just the next number which is 6. Similarly if 6 would have been there we would have got the result out to be 7. Right. So this is how the ceiling function works. Now in Python we can use ceiling function with the help of simply seal function. And this seal function is there in math library. So let's import math library first. Now what we have to do is we have to simply write math.seal and within the parenthesis we will keep the floating point. Now let's print it simply. Nothing but cube root itself. Right. Now let's print it and see it working. See it's asking me to enter a number. Let the number be simply 8. And here you can see that the cube root is 2. Now let's uh, apply with 9. So what would be the result? Uh, okay, yeah. So what would be the desired result? Now see, the result for 9 would be something like 2 point something. Since we are using this math.seal function, so we would get 3. Let's run it. And boom, here you can see that we are getting 3. Now let's explore it further. So let's say if instead of seal, we would have used the floor value. Let me explain you that floor is just the opposite of seal. That is, let's say if you have 5.1 and you are doing the seal value, then you will get 6. But if you are doing its floor value, then you will get 5. That is, with the help of floor value, we will get the value or the natural number which is just previous to it. So over here in this situation, if we will run it for 9, then where when in seal value, we were getting 3. And if we apply floor, then we will get two. Let's run it for three. Uh, let's run it for seal again. So three you are, we are getting. Now let's do floor of it. So boom, here you can see that we are getting two. So this is all about the video, like how we are writing a program in Python to find the cube root. So here in this program, we not only understood how to find the cube root, but we also explored the seal as well as floor value in Python and how we can do it. So this was all about the video. I hope you understood the things very clearly. But still, if you have any doubt, then feel free to drop it down in the comment section. So this was all about the video. Thank you.